Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. So I'm going to show you guys how to reset your Dell Inspiron 1525 laptop on your Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just by left clicking on it one time. And now you want to type in reset. Best man should say reset this PC right above system settings. You want to left click on that one time to open up the settings window here. Underneath recovery, we see there's an area that says reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall Windows. Left click on get started. And now you have a couple choices here. You can either keep your files or remove everything. First option is a little misleading here because it's only going to keep some personal files even though I would highly recommend creating a backup just in case they were lost. And the second option is truly a factory reset, which will remove all your personal files, apps, and settings, which is the option I'm going to select for the purpose of this tutorial today. And now it's going to prompt if you want to clean the drives too. I would basically recommend the second option here to remove files and clean the drive if you're going to be donating or getting rid of your computer. If you're going to be holding on to it, I would just suggest doing a just remove my files option here. The first one should be more appropriate for most of you guys. It doesn't require as much time effort. And now final prompt here, ready to reset this PC. Resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs as well as any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on this reset button. This will take some time. Please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back. So it looks like our Dell Inspiron 1525 device has restarted. Looks like we are good to go. So at this point, feel free to reinstall any applications or programs you were using beforehand. And once you're done doing that, as a good rule of thumb, I would recommend creating a restore point, back up some system files as well. Just so you have it in case of any future issues. 
And it's just good practice to always do system restores after you do a lot of updates or download a lot of programs. But I do hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.